The VivoBook Pro 14X OLED carries style and flair, offering portability and power for creators who like to be on the go, but don't want to be hindered by a lack of performance. With a plethora of features, it feels like a flagship product that can challenge the best mobile workstations. Stick around to find out how it does that. Starting from the outside, the VivoBook has an elegant aluminum chassis that's offered in three colors, zero degree black, cool silver, and aqua celadon. It's passed the MIL STD-810H durability certification tests, including drops, shocks, and extreme temperatures, while the keyboard and hinges are tested for endurance, with more than 10 million clicks and around 50,000 open and closed cycles. The keycaps are shaped like a dish for a more ergonomic feel. The whole board is also color-blocked with gray accents and an orange escape key, which shows the youthfulness of the laptop. Typing is good, thanks to the long key travel and clicky feedback. The touchpad is covered with mylar, so smoothness is assured, but here's something interesting. This is called Dialpad, and its purpose is to help creative professionals with their workflow. It supports the whole Adobe Creative Cloud, while you can adapt the settings and menus for other apps. There is a fingerprint reader embedded in the power button, so no passwords. If fingerprints are not your thing, then you can use the webcam and IR sensor for face recognition. It even has 3D noise reduction, so when you're in video meetings, your colleagues get a better view of you. After you're done using the camera, you can hide it with the webcam shield. The microphone setup uses noise reduction as well, this time employing machine learning to make speech sound clear and remove ambient noise. With a workstation laptop, you'll often find yourself having to connect other peripherals, so it's good to see that the VivoBook has a wide selection of ports. There are two full-sized USB ports on the left side, both 2.0. On the opposite end, we see one Thunderbolt 4 port, an HDMI 2.1B port for an external 8K display, one more Type-A port, and a 3.5mm audio jack. The Thunderbolt port has easy charge, supporting a wide range of standard USB-C chargers from 5 to 20 volts. While you don't have a LAN connector, the Wi-Fi 6E connectivity offers very fast speeds, so you'll hardly miss it. The star of the show is definitely the 2.8K OLED panel, with its deep colors and 120Hz refresh rate. The response time is also insanely quick, at 1.2 milliseconds, so scrolling and videos look really smooth. You'll be able to use it in all lighting conditions, while the 100% DCI-P3 coverage makes the device suitable for color-sensitive work. If enjoying movies and videos is your thing, the Harman Kardon speaker setup does plenty to elevate your experience. Plus, you get Dolby Atmos support. Our design and gaming profile further enhances the accuracy of the display, so we'll link it down below for you to check out. What we didn't like is the PWM usage for brightness levels below 90 nits, but our HealthGuard profile takes care of that. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. Despite its small size and with a profile of only 17.9 millimeters, the VivoBook packs a large 70 watt hour battery. It lasts for 10 hours of web browsing or 6 hours of video playback. These are great results considering the Alder Lake H series CPU inside. Our configuration has the Core i7-12700H, and the VivoBook Pro 14X OLED makes good use of it, outscoring most of its competitors in both 3D and 2D rendering, so you know you're getting a flexible machine that can handle all types of workloads. Keep in mind that the laptop comes with up to a Core i9-12900H, so the VivoBook can get more powerful if you want it. For some GPU-accelerated rendering, the device relies on the RTX 3050 Ti. It's not only good for content creation, but for gaming as well, despite the 50-watt power limit. While running games at 2.8K can deplete the 4GB memory buffer quickly, you can definitely go for lighter games like CSGO and League of Legends between breaks, or even heavier games if you lower the resolution to full HD. Shadow of the Tomb Raider runs with more than 70 FPS on max settings. The laptop comes with a really good cooling solution called Ice Cool Plus. It consists of two heat pipes and two fans, with 89 blades each. 
Both in short and prolonged loads, the CPU maintains high wattage and clock speeds, while keeping temps manageable. It also maxes out the 50-watt power limit of the 3050 Ti without reaching critical temperatures. The base gets slightly warm, but at 43 degrees, it's okay, and that's after 30 minutes of 100% load. As everything is tight and compact inside the VivoBook, it doesn't leave room for RAM slots. Instead, ASUS offers up to 32GB of LPDDR5 memory, which is plenty. Storage-wise, there's one M.2 slot for ultra-fast Gen 4 SSDs. We have a teardown video where we show what's inside the laptop. We'll link it down below. One of the premier 14-inch machines that ASUS offers, the VivoBook Pro 14X OLED pairs good performing hardware with a stunning display. It elevates the creator's experience thanks to the dial pad, putting much more expensive devices in its sights. The written review on our website covers the VivoBook more deeply, including extra tests of the OLED panel. Spoiler alert, it got our Editor's Choice Medal. The link is in the description.